What is up my friends? Midsummer, Midsummer, whatever you want to call it. I think Airy goes by Midsummer. I'm calling it Midsummer cuz that's just how I've heard it so long that it's just ingrained in my brain to say it that way. It's a movie that I've been anticipating ever since it got announced right after Hereditary premiered in US theaters and I was so in love with that movie. I saw it 3 times and I cannot get enough of it. Now Midsummer basically now I'm saying it the other way. Okay, anyways, Midsommar basically deals with a Swedish cult that is just bonkers crazy. Now, it's going to leave some people clapping at the end and some people asking for their money back at the end. Sort of like Hereditary, but I think even more than Hereditary because I think that this movie was really marketed in a different way and I already knew what to expect when it came to A24 and I just was going in with an open mind. And I know many people are not going to go with an open mind and I saw that in my own theater that opening night. Now I don't believe that this movie is as good as Hereditary, that is up for debate, some people say it is. I do think however that this film is a really good film and I think both films are similar in their family um, aspect as well. Overall I think the film has beautiful cinematography, the editing is intense and the acting is amazing especially from Florence Pugh. I think it does fall flat on its face, however, when it comes to the story and the narrative. It can get muddled in between all of the um, effects and sort of um, pretentious things it tries to convey at times. But nonetheless, I'm definitely watching it again, and I think Ari Aster is two for two. So the film follows a couple's breakup. Yep, it's a breakup film overall, and it should be seen as that. The characters of Christian and Danny are in a relationship. She's fed up with how he's not really there for her. She's dealing with a lot of things with her family, and he's not really there as a support. And he's fed up with the way that she is relying on him to be a shoulder to cry on, he says, and he's just not with that anymore. They both can't seem a way to break up with this relationship, even though they both know they shouldn't be in this relationship anymore and it's not healthy for either of them but they still continue on forward and I thought that was a really interesting aspect of how many people in relationships feel especially nowadays where it's like we know that maybe it's not working anymore and we shouldn't be together but it's sort of this sort of cultural thing where it's like ah but do we really want to be that statistic of couples that break up and whatnot so I think that's pretty interesting and I'll hit that in a video where I talk more about the themes and the overall symbolism as I did with Hereditary but anyways let's go on forward they end up going on a trip together with Christian's friends to an old village of one of Christian's friends, Pele, I believe that was his name, because nothing screams, let's talk about what our relationship and where it's going than going on a trip to a country you don't know to participate in some pagan shit, right? Anyways, throughout the film, we quickly realize things aren't right in this village as elders get pushed off cliffs, people are performing love rituals with their pubes, and oh yeah, these people like to do freaky shit with each other as Christian finds himself in a peculiar spot by the end of the film. We see many of the friends meet their untimely death, and that serves as part of the overall ritual that these people are performing, and we quickly realize that Pele has been in on this from the beginning, and he's doing what's best for his village. Christian becomes a surrogate dad and makes his friend and uncle. Danny witnesses all of this and finally has that groove therapy she needed from the beginning. She then becomes the queen of them all and has Christian burned, but not just physically, but emotionally as well from her. In the end, she has found acceptance and peace, even if it is from some freaky cult in the middle of nowhere. Overall, I did enjoy this film for how beautiful and technical it's made. Danny is ultimately the one finding herself throughout the film, if you look at it in that light again. And we see all of this culminate at the end when she chooses Christian to be the one that is burned. I think it's an interesting take the film has as well as how millennials really try to understand everything without trying to offend someone and that could pretty much cloud their judgments and I'll be talking more about that in depth in the video that's coming up where I'm really going to go into what I think all the symbolism and themes of the movie are. This video is just pretty much me explaining that ending and I think the simplest way to do it is that Danny got over Christian now. If you go back and look at it, each ritual and everything you can pretty much assess the different stages of a couple's breakup and I'm going to talk about that in another video but anyways that's just my thoughts on this movie I think overall by the end of it whether Danny's crazy or not whatever you want to think about that I think she has come to accept that she's going to be okay without Christian something that from the beginning of the film she was never even close to doing so I think it's pretty much her metamorphosis into this anyways I do enjoy this film I'm excited to see what Ari Aster has cooked up next it looks like family themes are something that he continues to develop and work on from the strange thing about the Johnson 
Assassins, to that short film I forgot the name of, Hereditary, and now Midsommar. So what do you think? Are you excited for this movie and what it conveyed? What do you think it did? Is it just some freaky shit? Is it go deeper than that? You let me know in the comments below. I'd like to know. I'm open to anybody talking about this film. But let me know what you think. Are you excited for Ari Aster's next project? Do you think he fell flat or is this two for two for him? Comment below. Let me know. 8,000 subscribers. Let's get to it. I'll see y'all next time. Stay positive, my friends.